Janine Perrett, what do you make of those comments? Oh, I cringed when I saw them. Um, look, when you actually hear him <laughs> say it, 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 on paper it looks... It, it's not... There's nothing wrong with saying you need a good job. Of course a bank's not going to give you Drop a loan if you don't have truth. a good job. But it's just, can this man learn? After the, um, the, the story petrol, about the, petrol, yeah, poor petrol, people yeah. don't. It's not that fundamentally it's wrong. It's just that don't be so tinny. It's so stupid to say these things. Bring the debate back. But I think the broader issue here is that we have a Treasurer. It's hard to have confidence in when we've got a budget they should be selling, when confidence is an issue. And every time he opens his mouth, whether it's about a tampon or about housing affordability, he becomes the issue. Tony Abbott's got to do something here. It's just that is the problem. We should be focusing, they should be focusing on the issues, not getting waylaid. Yeah, but, but I, look, I think that's unfair to say that every time he opens his mouth there's a scandal. I uh, think look, when he has I think, well, hang on, but tampon tax, you know, this is a scenario we all know, and the truth of that is there was a set-up question over on Channel 2. And he fell from, for it and made a stupid comment. Well, no, he was, I, I, don't think, I don't think he did, and I believe on that case, as I've said many times before, I absolutely believe that it is disgraceful that there is a gender difference in our tax system. Thank you for pointing it out. We will now put taxes on condoms. That's my attitude to it, because last time I checked, there's a revenue problem. But here's a question for everyone, and including everyone at home. How many properties do you think there are in New South Wales that for sale right now, right now, are worth more than a million dollars? Just think about it. Is it a couple of hundred, couple of thousand? It is 7,628 properties for sale right now over a million dollars in New South Wales. I did a search, realestate.com.au, 4,678 properties over a million dollars in Victoria, in Queensland, and I'm not going to go around the whole map, but 7,695. Now we can have a wonderful long dance about how stupid Joe Hockey said this, that and the other, or we can deal with the reality. There are thousands of properties more than a million dollars in three of our major states. That is not because of the Treasurer, it is not because of government, it is not because of the Labor Party, it's not because of Kevin Rudd, it's because of supply and demand and it is also because of foreign buyers who are blowing up the prices all over the shop. That's the real issue and when we talk about this garbage, we're not talking about the real deal. And that comes back to me on what Joe Hockey, how he does it. The press conference today was about the very valid argument about China, about overseas property buyers, foreign property buyers, and we got waylaid by this. No, and no, I no, think no, that's no. We chose change. to make that the headline. Let's we be honest. Come on, come on. He stood up and gave new information today about Chinese buyers, including one bloke who's got 10 properties in two states. What was the headline? The headline was, evil cigar chomping Joe Hockey tells people they have to get a good job. Well, <laughs> well guess what? You do have to have a good job to pay off a joint worth more than a million dollars.